now we are going to discuss about named entity recognition so this is the important concept in natural language processing so if you if you want to develop any natural language processing application then without this uh, concept you can't develop any simple application so that's the power of this named entity recognition so it's an important it's a compulsory it's a mandatory video for those people who are trying to develop any natural language application so the basic definition of named entity recognition is it detects named entities like person organization place date and etc so you we can relate that with an example so for example john is a boy is an example uh, is a sentence in this the named entities are john is a person so similarly we can write another example called john lives in india here john is a person and then india is a location so here we have two named entities in this simple sentence so that can be a number of named entities like location organization person facility demon etc 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 so you could have a question why should we detect the named entities for natural language processing so for natural language processing first the step would be tokenization you need to tokenize the sentence into further uh, granular tokens and then you need to name the, you need to determine the entity type for those tokens for example john which is a person india which is a location and then only we can understand the actual context of this sentence so that's the reason why name entity recognition is the important part in natural language processing it is a supervised learning supervised learning means we need to teach the mission about the uh, we need to teach a mission then only mission tries to understand it. then only mission tries to predict based on our teachings so it predicts the entities based on model which was trained using labeled data what do you mean by labeled data that's your point that's your question i will try to answer that using this slide labeled data means we need to manually tag the data with uh, named entities like john is a person india is a location like that for example suppose if you are studying if we in uh, lkg ukg which means in the first grade second grade you our teachers would have imposed many things to us so they will teach like t o g is a dog k a t is a cat like that similarly we need to teach our mission that john is a person india is a location like that so for that this is some standard way of teaching the mission using some table data this is the sample table data here what we are trying to do is we are trying to define the uh, value inside this start and intact and we are trying to define the entity type name entity type which means person so anything which is defined inside this int and inside this start would be treated as person similarly for location so anything between the start and end would be treated as location here india is treated as location here john is treated as person so this is a sample sample label data we need to manually collect 10000 to millions of sample labeled data so you could do it in either ways by manually tagging the data the first way if suppose if you don't have that much time you can buy the labeled uh, you can buy the tagged data from the third party sources so first part in a named entity recognition is collecting the tagged data so there won't be any limit for this tagged data if you collect 1 million that's good if you collect 10 million that's too good so that is no limit you can collect n number of sentences of tagged data that would be very helpful so it depends complete on how much uh, variety you have collected the data and the second step would be training stage so we need to manually train the mission by uh, teaching that john is a person india is a person india is a location like that so we have collected the target data so let's consider we have collected 10000 target data 10000 10, tagged sentences using the sentences what we will try to do is we will try to give the sentences to this algorithm 
This algorithm is called maximum entropy named entity recognition algorithm. It can be any algorithm like perceptron algorithm, maximum entropy. It depends. There are n number of algorithms which you which will try to detect the named entities. So we will try to give this 10,000 tagged sentences to this algorithm. It will try to give the model to us. NER model. So this is the uh, final output of the training stage. So we will try to consider this is a black box for now because we are not trying to dive into detail regarding the uh, work, working uh, procedure of this algorithm like that. So we will try to, we will get some model. So and this third and final step would be test. So using this NER model, which means using this NER model, we can give any sentences of any type. For example, if suppose if I give for our case, lives in Chennai, this sentence is a very new and this sentence is not present in not present in this training data. So model doesn't know model doesn't have any idea about this sentence but it will try to predict this our case is a person and then Chennai is a location because of this algorithm. We will try to explore this algorithm in a better manner in the upcoming videos or not just consider there are three steps in a named entity recognition. First one is collecting the tagged data and then second step would be training stage where we need to manually train the uh, manually train the machine with the algorithm that would eventually give the NER model. Using that NER model we will try to test the new sentences, new set of sentences. Thanks for watching.